So right now, it's being proven that Houston, Texas is an STD haven. Right. I remember somebody was pointing this out that and they, they've been pointing out that Houston, Texas has been hot in a, in the wrong way. Right. Uh, but I remember people were making the connection like they were like certain type of girls that um, outside of it just being Houston, Texas, obviously. But there was uh, somebody was pointing out um, um, that there was like these group of girls. People from Saudi Arabia or whatever, they kept flying them out from Houston specifically houston they kept on bringing girls from houston and then coming back and we already know in arabia they make those girls you know do things with animals right and make these girls porta potties and you know with that kind of activity disease is rampant so that's another part of the game that we have to discuss the people flying in and out of texas uh, of houston texas Oh, yeah. Recently, I was in Houston, Texas. But, you know, what's, what's funny about Houston, Texas right now, it seemed dead, meaning the clubs were dead. Right. <laughs> the bars were dead because I think people are, under, are understanding now in Houston, Texas, they have a real STD pandemic that's going on in Houston, Texas, which is, is wild. So right here, you read the headlines. It says there were over 42,000 people diagnosed with an STD in Houston, Texas last week. This is crazy. So right here, somebody uh, tw uh, somebody tweeted. Her name is unique. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Anyway, she said, just look at this. Y'all think by having uh, different having different sex partners is OK. Not using protection is OK. That's so disgusting. I don't want to be in rotation with nobody. This STD rate is insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's probably <laughs> she probably doesn't even know it because I don't know if she has a boyfriend or not. If, she does, if she's single, she's definitely sharing somebody. <laughs> anyway, so somebody scree I guess somebody took a picture of I guess somebody in the medical field. <laughs> like I said, those like the, the pharmacists at Walgreens. They know they know what it really is out here. They know who the people are who, who's dying. <laughs> they know the people that that's dirty. They got hot pockets. They know who it is, you know. So right here, it looks like a pharmacist from Walgreens or CVS or one of these spots took a picture of the numbers of the actual numbers they got. So. This tab, let me I don't know if we can do a zoom in um, real quick. I don't know if we can do a zoom. Oh, I, I don't think I can do it from here. I'm gonna have to open this up go to post please thank you okay let's see if we can zoom in on these numbers because this is wild this is wild so right here somebody took a picture so a work a brave worker took a picture of the number of cases because they said 42 what they say what, what, what they say here Forty two thousand people diagnosed with an std Forty two thousand people in houston diagnosed with an STD in a week. Something's up. Like that's first of all, that's just wild. In a city, 42,000 people in Houston. That's wild. Now, right here, let's uh go. <laughs> so let's go to the last week numbers. Let's focus on that. I don't know, you know, by the average, I don't know what they mean by the average of year, but let's go with last week. Within the last week, these are the numbers. 3,600 uh 3,606, uh, 3,678 people diagnosed with chlamydia in the last week. These are last week numbers. Nearly 3,000 with gonorrhea. 20, damn near 23,000 with syphilis within the last week. 17,000 diagnosed with HIV within the last week. Let me repeat that for you guys. 23,000 with syphilis and 17,000 with HIV within the last week. That's wild. Just within a week? What's wow? That's crazy. Now, it was a 315 of HIV case reports form and then another 18 case report form pediatric facility. So I guess these are some other new tests. Uh and then some tuberculosis. <laughs> this is two for tuberculosis, two unknown, which is wild. So they they got something that they didn't even <laughs> know they got. Uh, <laughs> this is wild. Whoever, whatever medical worker or nurse or doctor, but I'm pretty sure this is a pharmacist that took a picture of this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a pharmacist at CVS, at Walgreens, a farm, a farm tech <laughs> that took a picture of these numbers. Thank you for putting uh, that out there. So let's look at the comments. This is wild, guys. This is wild. So Houston, be be careful. Uh, in, now, when I was in Houston, Texas, I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I was on tour. I didn't do I didn't do nothing. I ain't sleep with nobody over there.
And like, like I said, somebody said, he said, this ain't Texas, ain't no condom or however that's song. Oh, wow. She, she, she tried to do a parody of the Beyonce song. But right here, this is the scary part. She said, this isn't even counting those undiagnosed. These are just the people that just happen to get a check in. And we know, I'm not going to say most people, but a lot of people don't get checked out. I don't know. What's it? Seven, they said 17K in one week for HIV is wild. That's wild. That's wild. And I, but you, but you know what number that they're missing for this, for, for all of this, I want to know, because I bet you the ratio between men and women for the STDs, we already know, because first of all, women just, they just catch STDs easier because just, it's just how their, their, their anatomy is built. It's just, that's just how it is. But I, man, I'm wondering in terms of the ratio, I really wonder what that rate, I bet you the rate, the ratio between men and women is alarming. And I want to know the ages too. <laughs> oh man. So somebody said, this is what happens when you disobey God's word and ignore his plan to follow your own lustful uh, desires. Oh, so I'm, you know, I'm going to, okay. This was from spiritual word. I'm going to assume that whoever runs spiritual word or um, these black Instagram sites, they they got to be African. They got to have some kind of African to say, they're always talking about some, some, some religious stuff. <laughs> You know what I mean? They got to be Africans. They said the results of hookup culture. Somebody said, trust us girls with normal jobs and in house at night. We know we're winning. Um, Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that. But obviously, you know, the, the night girls, they're, they're going to have night girl numbers. But that HIV number, that's crazy. That's wild. And those are the ones that are they got tested. He said, all that sexy red music. Yeah. Well, like I said, it's too late to bring it back. We're, we're, we're living like these, these spots like Houston, Texas, Atlanta, Georgia, these, these spots, they're just, mo they're modern day. It's modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. And, and I'll, I'll, I'll take it a, a step further. It doesn't matter if you meet your partner and you both get tested the same day, particularly women have so many options to sleep with all types of people and the men because I'm, I'm pretty sure amongst these numbers, they're like male super spreaders where there's like three or there's like 10 or 20 males that are just super spreaders that have been spreading. That's been <laughs> ramping these numbers up amongst amongst these numbers. I'm pretty sure there's like amongst these thousands of women, there are probably like a hundred of men, like hundreds of men that are super spreaders that are spreading this nonsense. So whatever it be sugar daddies, CEOs, executives, athletes, I'm telling like, like we used to talk about Hollywood in L.A., there are executives over there. They got HIV. They don't, they, they don't, they're not stopping nothing. They don't care, bro. They do not care. They're not stopping nothing. Even though they got HIV. People think like, like no disrespect to Magic Johnson. You think Magic Johnson just stopped fucking bitches? <laughs> you think, you think those dudes that are down low, right? And they find out what they have. You think they stop what they're doing? They don't stop. Nothing. They, they don't stop, especially with the medicines that they have now, where basically they can, they can, it can, it can literally go undetected. Right. And they've been trying to have that selling point like, oh, if you if you have HIV, but if you take this medicine, it can go undetected and you can actually mess with other people and they won't get what <laughs> I said, man, if y'all fall for that, y'all some stupid people where they, they talking about they got medicines there where, where if, if you take it, then the HIV is undetectable. Uh, and, and, and if you sleep with other people, they won't. Oh, no, I, I, please, <laughs> please. But like I said, if you got money, if you're famous. If you're a CEO, you're an executive, you're a sugar daddy, right? We got the whole sugar daddy culture. We got all these older men sleeping with younger women now because of paper, because of money. These are the, the uh, these are the results. <laughs> these are the results. Somebody said one year celibate and I can keep this shit going. First of all, she's lying. And that sh kind of shows you that women have a lot of sex out here because you'll hear women. They'll be like, I'm, I'm, I'm finally celibate. And you'd be like, okay, how long have you, when's the last time you had sex? And it'll be like a month ago. And you'd be like, bro, that's. <laughs> Like they'll and they'll be lying about that. They'll be lying about that, or they'll talk about oh, it's been two or three months of me being celibate, and they don't even realize most men have never even had sex. I'm talking about most men have never even had sex. I'm talking about even like in the history of humankind, most men have been cut down. And if you tell the average woman this, they'll be like, "How? How is that possible?" I'm like, uh, "War." <laughs> anyway, but like I said, like they like women can't even fathom that. That's why they just they just assume that men are having sex. No. Like I said, there is probably a couple men that are being super spreaders. They're not getting tested and they're just going on, right? <laughs>
Uh, somebody said no sources tagged, just screenshots that could be from anywhere. Um, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Hold on, I'm about to um, let me let me pull up something because uh, because black people are funny about this this subject. Black black people are funny. We we funny man. Well, actually, no, no. Let me not bring that up. But I, I, I remember I saw I saw something um just today, and it was two black women. They were complaining that they saw a commercial about HIV, and none of the people, none of the actors or actresses portrayed in there that were portrayed as the actors or actresses in there were black, even though that black women were the number one people that contract that that can contract HIV. But I'm like, if they did that, then you'd be complaining that they were using too many black people. <laughs> <laughs> to portray HIV. That's why they didn't put no black people in there. So they want to be seen as racist. Because now if they do put black women in there, then you're going to be mad at the company for portraying black women in a certain light. <laughs> I'm like, you can't even win. Because I, and they were trying to say, and then the, the person replied back to me. She's like, no, we wouldn't complain. I'm like, bro, once the CDC came out with the statistics about herpes, about black women having be 50% of black women having uh, herpes, you were start talking about, oh, this is the white man's statistics. People are lying. I'm like, okay, so during the Tuskegee experiment, they didn't tell nobody how many people had syphilis. You said they were evil for doing that. Now they're telling you what's going on with herpes. They're not hiding the numbers, and now you're calling them racist for hiding the numbers. <laughs> so, so there, there's no, there's no winning. There's no, there's just no winning with these people. Sometimes there's just really no. Uh, they're, they're telling you now. They're not hiding the numbers anymore, and now you're talking about these numbers are racist or these statistics are real. You know. That's crazy. Yes, Syph syphilis and HIV being that high, where it's at, it's over. Damn, it's twenty thousand. Is so if we average out the twenty two thousand with the syphilis and the seventeen thousand with the uh um with the with the HIV, it's damn near twenty thousand each. Damn near twenty thousand. Basically, damn near. Yeah, basically forty thousand. With, with if you combine the HIV and syphilis cases, it's forty thousand cases combined. That's wild. And then somebody said, it's a lot of men sleeping with men and still sleeping with women. It's but like I said, it's really a small percentage of those people. But like I said, those people are usually a anyways. Nah, I I'm going to just leave that alone. Because like I said, um, <laughs> somebody said, and I bet you at least 30,000 ain't from Houston. Same cases with Miami. A lot of those cases, I bet you. No one going to say anything about the pediatric HIV. Wait, so what is that? Oh, wow. Pediatric HIV is 17 years and younger. What? So that's a teen. That means it's a teenager. Or or basically that's people that are already born with it or people that end up being born with. It. I got to I got to do some research on that. I'm, I'm not I'm, I'm very I'm very ignorant when it comes to that, because I saw that. I was like, what do you mean adult? HIV case report from pediatric. I'm like, I'm like, what, what does that mean? <laughs> Man, oh yeah, that's yikes. Oh man, that's crazy. Somebody said this is your sign not to move here. <laughs> Somebody said, I'm so glad for my dry ass phone. <laughs> Somebody said, me and my rose enjoy Twitter porn. But like I said, if if she don't 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 be uh. He said, he said, y'all better start asking for people for their my charts. And that's another thing I've never understood. Like people will say, like, <laughs> what's the point of asking somebody during sex or before you have sex? Are you clean? There's no point. I'm like, what are they going to say? They not <laughs> you, like it, a woman will ask you, are you clean? And I'm like, or a, a man will ask a woman, is she clean? Do you, you expect them to admit that on? All right. I mean, I know, I know there's, you, you got to ask, but it'll be like, it'll be like right, right before you have sex <laughs> and people will ask these questions. I'm like, it's kind of too late, bro. It's too late. Oh, they'll ask it after. <laughs> I know people, I know people, they'll ask after, are you clean? They'll do right after they did everything on your body. Talk about, are you clean? 